there, Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful stars and pom poms baby blanket. And uh, for this tutorial, I'll be working on a smaller sample for you, so we won't make the video too long and too boring. And I'll show you how to crochet this beautiful star stitch, how to make uh, the base row for the border, and then how to create this lattice work and the pom poms at the end of it. So let's get started. For this blanket I used a little over 6 balls of Aran yarn in gold. I'm also using two different hooks, uh, the 6mm crochet hook for the blanket itself and then a 5mm crochet hook for the border. You will also need a darning needle to weave in the ends and scissors. For my sample, I am going to chain 27 chains. For your blanket, you will need 113 chains. And this is my starting chain, um, 27 chains. Uh, chain your 113 and let's start with the first uh, row. And we will start by making a single crochet, 5 together. And to do that, um, insert your hook in a second chain from uh, the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop and leave it on your hook. Then move to the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up another loop and do that in the next three chains. So you will have six loops on your hook. And now yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. And this is how you make a, a single crochet five together. Now chain one and we will be making another single crochet five together. But this time the placement of the loops is different. So um, we will be making the first loop in this um, eye of the star. So insert your hook in that um, space, yarn over, pull up a loop. Then our second loop will be between these two uh, posts right here at the end. So it's this space right here. Insert your hook, pull up a loop. Now we have two loops that we drew. Uh, the third one is right at the base in the same chain where you drew your last loop from the previous uh, single crochet five together. So it's the same uh, chain. Insert your hook, pull up a loop. So now we pulled three loops and we have four uh, in total. And the last two uh, loops will come from the next two chains. So insert, pull up a loop, go into next chain, insert and pull up another loop. So now again, we have six loop, uh, loops in our uh, so now again we have six loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all and then chain one. And this is your repeat section. Um, make a single crochet five together and then chain one. So let's do a couple of more of them just so you can get comfortable of uh, where to insert your hook to pull up the five loops. So the first one is in this uh, chain one where you, that looks like a hole. This is the middle of the star. So insert your hook in that space, yarn over, pull up a loop. And then the second one, it's in between these um, single crochet posts right here. So right in between these two posts, insert your hook in there. Yarn over, pull up another loop. Then our third loop will be pulled through the last chain where you drew up a loop on the previous um, single crochet five together. So right here, insert and pull up a loop. And then the last two loops come from two different chains on your starting chain. So insert your hook in that next chain, pull up a loop. Insert the hook in the next one and pull up a loop. So now we have six on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all and chain one. 
and that was one repeat let's make another one so again first loop in this uh, star eye that little hole right there in the middle so insert your hook in there yarn over pull up a loop then the second one it's in between these two little sec single crochet posts right here it's between the posts third one like I said in the last chain where you pulled up a loop um, on the previous star and then two more in the chains uh, on your uh, starting chain so next chain pull up a loop next chain pull up a loop and now yarn over pull through all and chain one and just repeat this until you reach the end of the row and you have one uh, chain left so now I have reached the end of my starting chain I have one chain left and we will make one half double crochet in that chain and this is your first row and uh, you can see uh, how the bottom part of the stars are taking shape and now let's continue with our second uh, row chain one and turn and um, make uh, a half double crochet in the half double crochet below then we will make two half double crochet in each of these star eyes in these little holes where we made chain one we make two half double crochet in each of those uh, chain one spaces so that's one and that is two okay and now we move to the next um, space I call them the star eye and make a two half double crochet in there as well right. and now move to the next space and make two half double crochet the next space and just repeat this until you reach the end of the row and you will have one stitch left and uh, that will be um, right at the end it's that uh, chain that you skipped when you made the five the single crochet five together Okay, so I have made my last two half double crochet in star, inside the um, the stitch eye, the star eye, and now we have here a last stitch, um, and we will make a half double crochet in in it. And this is the second row, and it doesn't look like much, but uh, when you turn it around you can see the stars 
so let's continue with our uh, row 3 and turn your work and chain uh, 3 and now we will start again making the uh, bottom part of the stars by single crochet 5 together so in the second chain insert a hook pull up a loop then in the next chain pull up another loop now in that half double crochet below um, make another loop pull another loop and then uh, in these two a half double crochet uh, that we made in a star eye we are going to pull up a loop in each so we pulled five loops in total we have six on our hook yarn over and pull through all six and chain one and now uh, continue um, uh, to make another single crochet five together and we insert uh, our hook in this uh, star eye this chain one that we made and pull up a loop the second loop will come from between this uh, post the second crochet a single crochet post for the last right here last two between the last two then into the stitch where you pull up your last loop so in this that's already used this last one insert up insert and pull up a loop and then your last two will come from the two half double crochet below and this is how you know uh, you are not making a mistake when your last loops are always these two half double crochet below right there and if if you're pulling your last two from here from this two you know uh, you missed a stitch so you will always have to be this two half double crochet that you crocheted in the previous star eye so that's one tip for you to know you're doing um, the pattern correctly you're making it correctly all right so we pull through those two um, loops uh, those two stitches yarn over and pull through all five and chain one and this is your repeat section again single crochet five together followed by a chain and continue until you have one stitch left so let's make another repeat insert your hook in that star eye then between the last two single crochet posts of the of the star then in the last uh, used uh, stitch so the one that you pulled up a loop uh, before and now two brand new stitches which are the two half double crochet uh, below so one in there and one in the next now we've pulled up five loops we have six on a hook yarn over pull through all and then chain one and that is your repeat so uh, continue like that until you have one stitch left So now I have reached the end of my row I have one stitch left and that is the half double crochet I've made um, in the previous uh, row so I'm just going to make one half double crochet in that stitch and this is your third row this is how it looks like now let's continue with uh, row four and um, chain one and turn and now we make a half double crochet in the first stitch 
and then two half double crochet in every single star eye so in these little uh, holes there where we single crochet five together we will make two half double crochet in each and uh, this will create the top part of um, the star and um, yeah just repeat this until uh, the end of uh, the row just in that uh, little tiny hole Okay, so I've just uh, completed my last two half double crochet in this last uh, star eye and we have one uh, stitch left and we will make a half double crochet inside it. All right. And this completes a fourth row. This is how it looks like from the back and this is how it looks like on the right side. And now you can clearly see each star so um, this pattern it's a two row repeat you will have to repeat a row three and four over and over until you have the desired um, length now my blanket uh, is made out of 41 of these star rows so in one star row you have two uh, two rows so 82 rows or 41 star rows so if you count your star you will have 41 of them and that uh, makes the length of my blanket which is 100 centimeters depending on your tension or the yard and hook you're using uh, maybe you want a different size blanket uh, just make uh, row three and four until you have the desired length so I will be continuing, I'll pause the video, I'll continue making my uh, small sample on which I can demonstrate um, the border for this blanket. So I've now completed my sample, my mini blanket. This is how it looks like. Um, and now it's time to crochet the border. But before starting on any kind of border, I always recommend you crochet a base row around your blanket. And this is just a simple single crochet row around it. Now this uh, blanket uh, border, it's only crocheted at the top and at the bottom of it. But uh, we will uh, crochet the single crochet row all around just because we want to have a finished look to the blanket. If you can see the side, stitches are not very pretty when you crochet a row of single crochet it will make it more straight and uh, also look completed finished so now we will switch to the five millimeter crochet hook and uh, pick up from where you finished um, don't break the yarn and we will continue with the border it is important that you turn your work around and work your round of single crochet on the right side on this blanket we will be making two rows of single crochet so let's start with the base row and um, in the very first stitch let's make three single crochet this will be our corner we use this to uh, bring the yarn neatly to the other side like that and then um, because we're working at the top it's easy make one single crochet in each stitch until you have one left so one single crochet in each of the stitches So 
so now I reach uh, the last stitch and in that stitch we make another corner which is three single crochet in that stitch just to bring the yarn uh, on the other side so let's make three single crochet in that stitch and you can see it brings it nicely to the other side now this is the tricky part uh, we need to crochet single crochet stitches on this rows which are half double crochet rows so each of these star rows contain two half double crochet what we're gonna do is crochet three single crochet for each of these star rows and what i do is look at the stitches and mentally place them uh, equally space so looking at this section here the first star we have a space here a space here and a space here so those are our three single crochet they're moving into to the next section and we need to mentally place these stitches before we crochet them so i see a space here a space here and a space here and these are our three single crochet so we will be making three for each two rows so that's our first and this is the reason why I'm using a smaller hook as well um, these spaces are quite tight you kind of have to force your uh, ho uh, hook through those loops and also you want your border a little bit tighter you don't want your blanket to curl up like this or be too loose so um, let's make our first single crochet in that loop so that space this and this that's one now two and then three okay now we move to the next section and again we're looking for three loops so we have one two and three let's make them so like I said you kind of have to force your hook in that loop yarn over pull make a single crochet next loop and the last one so again we made three single crochet for one star uh, section move again to the next you'll see the loops one two and three and just continue like this until you crochet it um, in each of these uh, star rows Okay, so now we made our last three single crochet in the last row of stars now we can move um, uh, to the very first stitch from the bottom or very last and we will make the corner there and we have the end here we can crochet over it that will save us time from um, uh, having to weave it in so that was the first loop and we will make three single crochet in there and you can see how the yarn comes back and you also can see how it's a little bit tighter than the stitches that it's absolutely fine you it's better to have it have the border tighter than looser because all you have to do is just pull the stitches and there you go you have straight edges and the, and, the, and the blanket just looks finished okay so now we are uh, at the bottom of the blanket one stitch per uh, one single crochet per stitch when you reach the very last stitch which is so somewhere here i think uh, just make your corner and again three single crochet per section and like I said before, the best way to do it is look at the area that you work with and mentally place your three single crochet. So we have one, 
two, three. Then you move to the next one and we have one, two, and three. And so on until you reach uh, the end. So I will pause the video, finish the border. Uh, like I said, one stitch per one single crochet per stitch, three per section. So now I have reached uh, the end. You can see uh, the border is quite tight and it's fine. All you have to do is loosen it up a little bit and it will straighten up. Like I said, it's better tighter than looser. Now, right here at the end, to close this uh, round, just um, uh, slip stitch in the very first single crochet you made. So let's close the round and slip stitch in that very first stitch. And now, like I said, um, my pattern <clears throat> on my blanket, I made two rows like this of single crochet. So let's continue with the second. The second is pretty much a single crochet in each stitch and in the corners. So in these three stitches you made in the corners, in that middle one, make your three single crochet. So uh, whenever you reach the corner, check out where your second, the middle stitch of the three is, this one here, and make your corner. So here we already slip stitch in a very first single crochet. So in the second, we will make the corner. So uh, first we make a single crochet in here, in the very first one, chain one, make a single crochet. And now we reach the second, make three single crochet. That's your corner. And then one single crochet in a stitch until you reach the next corner and just repeat that all around until you reach the end and then we go into slip stitch in that and continue with our border so let's make this really quick So this is another corner, now we go on the side of the blanket Another corner So now I've reached uh, the end where I started to make uh, my single crochet stitches and we will slip stitch in a very first single crochet we made and that finishes our border and you can see now it looks a lot more uh, a lot better than previously uh, without the um, without the border it has now a complete look to it. So let's continue and make the lattice um, work. Uh, I'm talking about this section right here. And then we will make the pom-poms. So let's continue and make this um, pattern. Now, uh, if you wish, you can cut the yarn, uh, fasten off and start from this corner. But because we are one stitch away, it, it just doesn't make sense. So I'll just slip stitch until I reach the corner. So one and two. And I think the corner started here. Let's see how it looks like. I think that it's absolutely fine there. So two slip stitches. And we will start with the lattice work. 
so now in this corner stitch um, first chain one doesn't count as a stitch we just bring in the yarn higher and make a half double crochet then chain two skip two stitches and in the third make another half double crochet and this is your repeat section where you chain two skip two and half double crochet in the third one and continue like this until you reach the end of the uh, row and i'll show you uh, sometimes uh, depending on your stitch count you might not have uh, enough stitches to skip two and have double crochet in a third uh, it's fine if you skip one it's fine if you skip three and uh, uh, have double crochet in a fourth so we chain two skip two ha have double crochet in a third let's see if we have enough stitches chain two skip two have double, have double crochet in that third one and just repeat this until the end of the row chain two skip two we're almost there chain two skip two half double crochet okay so I was lucky <laughs> I have just enough stitches to chain two skip two and half double crochet in the third one but if your corner stitch would have been here right here so you can only skip one just chain one skip one if you have four so let's say this is the corner right here chain three skip three so chain as many stitches as you skip and then half double crochet in the last it will not make any uh visual a lot of visual difference it will still look uh, beautiful once your blanket is completed so i was lucky enough i had the exact uh stitch stitch count so chain two skip two and half double crochet in that last and this is our first row of the border now chain one doesn't count as a stitch i make my mind really tight and then turn and now we make a half double crochet in that very first stitch okay now chain one and half double crochet in this chain two space So we're going to offset this and make it look more visually interesting now chain two and half double crochet in the next chain space and this is your repeat section um chain chain two and half double crochet in the next chain space and repeat this until you have double crochet in the very last chain space so chain two half double crochet and then chain two and half double crochet in the chain space chain two half double crochet chain two and a half double crochet in the chain space and i will show you at the end how to finish this row let's half double crochet in the very last one uh, once you have double crochet in the last chain two space now we are going to chain one and half double crochet in the half double crochet below and this is our second row now we're going to make one more row like this so we chain one always chain one before you turn doesn't count as a stitch turn 
make a half double crochet in that very stitch very first stitch not into the chain that you made the stitch I get a lot of questions about that um, I was confused a lot at the beginning uh, the difference between st stitch and st chain um, but yeah uh, not in a chain into the half double crochet below so that's our half double crochet and now chain two and uh, half double crochet in the chain two space not this first one skip this one in the uh, chain two space and then chain two and half double crochet inside the chain two space chain two half double crochet in a chain two space and this is your repeat chain two half double crochet in a chain two space and repeat this until the end of the row and then I'll show you um, your last uh, your last stitch where should it be but we are only chaining um, and half double crocheting inside the chain two spaces not in this small chain one spaces but only in the chain two spaces so let's do that really quick okay so now I uh, have double crochet in the very last chain two space this is a chain one space we will be skipping this so chain two and we will have double crochet in on in the half double crochet below so in the last stitch just make a half double crochet there and this is our third row and this is our lattice and now on the fourth row we will continue with the pom-pom border so let's make the pom-pom border turn and chain six four five and six and now in a third chain from the hook we will make four incomplete half double crochet so yarn over insert your hook inside that chain yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over insert your hook again pull up a loop pull through two another incomplete we need two more so insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two insert yarn over insert your hook in the same chain pull up a loop yarn over pull through two now we have four incomplete um double crochet stitches we're gonna yarn over pull through all and this is your bubble stitch now we're not done this is just half of the pom-pom chain three and then in the that chain uh, base chain make again another of one of these bubbles so yarn over insert your hook in this chain here yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that's one incomplete double crochet let's make three more so this is number three this is number four there we are now yarn over pull through two and we made another bubble and now we're going to join them together and make the pom-pom and we are going to join them in the third chain from the base so that is the chain right below the pom-pom not the chain of the pom-pom where the pom-pom was made not where this bubble was made in the chain below it which is the third chain from the base and the trick here is not to insert your hook through this loop only because you'll have a big gap the trick is to catch both loops on your hook so you see this one 
and this one. You have to insert your hook through both and that will make your pom-pom tight. So just don't insert it like that just in this stitch because you'll make a big gap. Catch this one as well. So let's see, it's a bit tricky. Once you get the hang of it, I usually insert my hook through it and then through the other one. So you have these two loops and slip stitch. And that will make your um, stitch tighter. And this is your bobble. Now chain three and slip stitch in the first chain two space. So this is your first pom pom. This is how it looks like. It's made out of two bobble stitches. Now let's make another one um, by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then in the third chain from the hook, um, we are going to make a bobble stitch out of four incomplete double crochet. So in that third chain from the hook, insert the hook and make your incomplete double crochet stitches. Two, three, and four. There you go. And now yarn over pull through all. Now chain three again. And then in this base chain, make another bobble like this. Uh, out of four incomplete double crochet, so in this loop right there at the base, make a bubble stitch, so four of them, you will have five loops on a hook, yarn over pull through all, and now we have these two, we will put them together. and. We slip stitch in the third chain from the base. So one, two, and three right here, right underneath. So not in the same chain in the base. And make sure you are picking up both loops. So we have this loop and this loop of the chain. So I don't know how to show you more clearly. Yeah, make sure you pick up two loops, not just one. And slip stitch. Now chain three and make a slip stitch in a chain two space and this is your repeat section uh, you chain six make a bobble stitch in a third make another bobble stitch on top of it slip stitch it at the base chain three in the next uh, chain two space and we will repeat this until the end of uh, the row so let's make another one chain three then three more so six in total in the third chain from the hook make a bobble so that's one two three four incomplete double crochet stitches yarn over pull through all make a chain three and another bobble in a third the chain from the hook so that is one two three and four now yarn over pull through all this is your bubble stitch slip stitch in a third chain from the base the chain right underneath the bubble make sure you catch both of these loops both of these loops so insert your hook, a bit tricky but it's worth it because you will look so much better. So let me show you again these two loops, so there's one here and two on this side. Okay, and then chain three and slip stitch in the next available chain two space. There you go. This is how it looks like. That's your bubbles. And 
we will continue like this until uh, the end. I will um, just pause and continue um, and I will meet you at the end. So now I finished uh, making the pom-poms in the last chain to space but we are not finished with this round because it will look incomplete uh, if we don't make one in this corner. So this time when we make a pom-pom we will slip stitch into the hard double crochet in a corner and this is how you complete this uh, row. So let's make the last one, chain 6, make a bobble, 1, 2 incomplete this double crochet, 3 and 4 and then make another chain 3 and bobble into it, 1, 2, four now slip stitch in the third chain from the base making sure you catch both those loops and chain three and now like I said there is no chain two to slip stitch into so we will make it in the half double crochet in that corner and this will complete our round four and the stars and pom-poms baby blanket so now all we have to do is cut the yard and weave in the ends and we are done this is one side now all you have to do is repeat these steps and make it on this side as well and uh, this is how my mini blanket looks like this is the right side this is the border I chose to make it all in one color um, you may alternate if you like colors I think it looks beautiful in gold and And this is how you crochet the stars and pom-poms baby blanket I hope you found my tutorial easy to follow if you have any questions please ask them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I see them and if you are looking for the written pattern you can find it on my blog crafting happiness I'll link it down below in the description happy crocheting